Hey, everybody. Seems like we just did this. Anyway, Vaping Trapper back again with that other video. Um, this video here, uh, it's a recipe that I released about 90 days ago, uh, 87 days ago, so close enough. Uh, but it's just called Truck and Bourbon Cream. Um, and what this is, uh, it's just what it says. It's a uh, cream with a bourbon back note. Uh, you know, I'm from Kentucky. I like bourbon. I love bourbon. Uh, so if you like bourbon, this one's pretty good for you. Uh, we're going to do a 100 milliliter batch of it. Uh, I've got a guy in Florida, uh, two guys actually, uh, that do some kind of reviews for a group. Um, and so I'm mixing this actually to send to them. Uh, just not enough eyes have caught this recipe, so I want to get it out there for some other people to see it and try it uh, and enjoy it. Uh, they seem really stoked about it, so that'll be good. Uh, all right, let's get this mixed so we can... All right. And you all let me know if you like videos done this way. Uh, if not, I can go back doing them the other way. Uh, you really can't see the scale. I still haven't got to that point where I can show you that. Uh, but at least you can see I am putting stuff in a bottle. Uh, okay. So we're going to start off here with Real Flavors Super Concentrate Aged Bourbon Cream. Now, this bourbon cream is... Uh, it's pretty bourbony. Uh, there, there is a cream note to it. After this uh, steeps, uh, the the cream note of this mixed with the bourbon kind of turns a little caramely. Um, it's not a true caramel because it's got that bourbon note in it, uh, but it is. Uh, like I said, I love it. I make this all the time. Uh, here's my bottle that I mix for me. Uh, uh, the other day once I got these flavorings back in. Okay, so Real fla real Flavors Aged Bourbon Cream at 4%. That'll be 4 grams on the scale. And stop. Tear out the scale. Next, we have Flavor Arts Vanilla Bourbon. Uh, again, this has no vanilla, uh, no bourbon flavor to it at all. It's just a type of vanilla. Uh, I'm going to use this at 2%, so 2 grams on the scale. It's a pretty simple recipe. It's only got four ingredients. Uh, but it does come out tasting pretty complex, which I like. Uh, I've got it in everything right now. I've got it in my tank and in my little Aspire Breeze that I picked up. Uh, I just really like it. Uh, Favora Cream. Now, this cream is... Uh, it's just a cream, like there's no vanilla to it. There's no, uh, there's no other flavors. Just, just a creamy flavor. But it is pretty thick when you vape it, which also helps with the mix. Uh, using this Favora Cream, 1.25 percent. So 1.25 on the scale. I'm a little over on that one, 1 1.27, but we'll take it. Tear that out. Last flavoring. Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream. Now, this is my go-to ice cream now. Uh, this and Hankson's French Vanilla. Uh, it, this is so creamy and rich, and it has it actually has a vanilla flavor to it. Uh, a pretty strong vanilla flavor. Uh, and anything I've used it in, uh, it's just been great. Now, you can with this recipe, if you don't have the liquid barn vanilla cream, uh, you can use, I have made this with Capella. I have made it with TFA. Um, 
I have not made it with Flavor West, but I've been told Flavor West uh, vanilla ice cream has a lot of vanilla, and it's sweeter, just like the Liquid Barn is. Uh, so like I said, you can make it with the other ones. It just won't be the same. Uh, if you did make it with uh, Capella or the TPA, uh, I might add like a half a percent of sweetener to it uh, and maybe up up the vanilla bourbon to maybe two and a quarter, two and a half percent instead of two. Uh, and that should get you in the ballpark anyway. Uh, but anyway, liquid barn vanilla ice cream at four percent. So four grams on the scale. Tear that out. Once again, I have a pre-mixed uh, three and a half milligram uh, 80-20 PGVG blend. Again, on these bottles, we're just going up. There's little ribs right here, uh, and that's marked at three ounces. Uh, so 100 milliliters is like 3.38 ounces. So we're just going to go a little above that. Uh, love that bottle. Uh, above that bar uh, and as you can see I, from the, with the last video I cut the tip off this bottle so I can actually get it in here uh, I didn't do that before and it was a hard squeeze so there we go Simple as that, everybody. Give this a mix. <clears throat> I know that you all can't com cannot comment on all the flavors. Uh, again, the recipe will be in the description, just like all my, or the link to the recipe will be in the, the description, just like that, uh, just like all my other videos. Uh, you can't comment on all the flavors or leave a review if you don't have an account. Uh, I understand not wanting to pay for an account when uh, ELR is free. Uh, I am working on getting another account for ELR so that they'll start being posted over there also. In the meantime, if you mix this and you like it, come back to the YouTube video and leave a comment uh, so other people can see it. Uh, I mean, whether you like it or don't like it, like the video, don't like the video, whatever. Uh, share my videos with other people. Uh, let's get this train up and rolling, you know. Uh, also, if you all are not watching like Fresh O3 uh, on YouTube or uh, Hippie Vapes, uh, Steam Room, uh, especially as a driver, uh, you know, I sit there while I'm driving, and I don't watch the videos while I'm driving. That would be unsafe, so I wouldn't do that. But I do listen to them. Uh, and you'd be surprised what you can learn just listening, uh, just paying attention. Uh, ML Nikon and... Uh, uh, Dave, uh, ID10T on their noted podcast. All they do is talk about flavoring, uh, what they taste like, which which apricot is better than the other apricot. Uh, go back and listen to those. Uh, uh, and it may just give you an ideal on, you know, something that you would, uh, that you'd like to try or maybe you've been searching for an apricot that's a little tart but uh, tastes real or one that's sweet and tastes candy. Well, if you listen to that, it gives you an ideal without just having to search through all the flavors uh, on a website and just pick and choose one. Just give you an ideal, you know, you, you can kind of focus on another one. Uh, the other thing that you can do is say Dave really likes uh, uh, Flavor Art Armenia or their apricot. Uh, if you try it and you like it, then maybe if he likes flavor art strawberry 
or red touch, maybe that'll mean that you'll like that one too. So it just kind of cuts the guessing game out. I mean, who wants to spend money buying, uh, buying flavors uh, that you don't know if you're going to like? I mean, it's good to try new things and that, but uh, so anyway, that's that. Like I said, that's what is in this tank. Uh, this one's been steeping for probably four or five days. It is oh so good, everybody. Like I said, this is going in this bottle to go to this guy in Florida so they can review it. So that'll be that. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Uh, stay safe. Keep trucking. And definitely keep on vaping.